Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can create a light box pop up in any power apps. And along with that, I'll also show you how you can create components and use those components into your power apps. So I'm just going to one of my power app which I've already created. I'll just show you how that pop up box would work. So it's I'm just opening my demo power app. So I have connected this is uh, from one of the SharePoint list and that list shows the gallery and on the select uh, we are going to just show the pop up if I just select the item it should show the details about this particular speaker. So I actually call this app as a demo speaker. So these are speaker for my some session and if I click on this arrow icon then this pop up detail would be shown up and you can see like the background should be fade out so that it can give a look and feel of light box effect so if i if you just click anywhere outside it should close if you go to the other one it should open up so this pop-up effect we are going to build for our this app so let's get into this so i'm just going to create a new app and that app i'm going to start from blank I'll just choose a blank canvas app for visibility I'm just using tablet you can still use a phone and I'll just open my SharePoint list as well so that I can show you which list we are connecting to so this is the speaker list and these are the columns over here so i maintain this list probably like some uh, event is going to happen and these are my speakers i can just quickly create a power app to display what speakers would be speaking at what event so it's having just title name profile and headshot images and the same thing which we are demoing over here so it's uh, in in the preview page it would be just a small headshot image and then title name and if I wish to like have a detailed look on the profile then I can just click on it and for removing I just click and outside of that pop-up box so I'm just closing this demo speaker app now we are going to build our own and we are going to follow the steps so initially like uh, when you create a blank app you got the screen from where like you can start building up so under the screen one we will be inserting first of all a gallery so that we can have the all the speaker listed and we can connect the data source as SharePoint so it opened up now I'll be choosing my data source as SharePoint list and under this I'll just choose any existing connection and I will search for my site and it will load up the recent site which I created so I'll just pick this from my recent sites and search for my speaker list. So now I have connected my list and I'll just drag that to have the full page height and width. And as I said, like because we are going to create one light box effect, so I should be having one rectangle placed over this. Uh, so that that can fade out fade in like when we open the pop-up so I'll just add one insert one rectangle and I'll just click on that and this rectangle I'll just place it on on my full my screen and I'll change the setting uh, color for this my rectangle so that it can take the effect of kind of light box so I'll just go to advance and I'll just scroll down to find that property so I'll just change this fill because I just need it light light gray I'll just remove everything and then set this opacity as zero so it took that as light box rectangle and I wish to like hide this rectangle when whenever my screen is uploaded so in this on cell on visible so when this visibility for this my rectangle I'll actually use one variable and 
that variable i'll just go to my screen first of all on visible i'll set one variable show component as false so on whenever my this first screen should come up show component component that means like the pop up window should be false so just set that variable on visible of my screen and use the same variable for my this rectangle so that so whenever comes up this rectangle box the faded out box should be just hidden so this is first step so we have placed we have worked with this and as well as because if i click anywhere like as i showed you that uh, when you are clicking uh, outside of that pop up then that should close so you have to again go to this on select so when this rectangle got selected what should happen we should set the component show component variable to false again so right now we just set the show component which is a boolean variable as false everywhere because we doesn't want this rectangle to be visible and we have set up this show component as an a uh, visible property for this rectangle so we are done we are done on this main screen now we are going to go to this component tab over here and i'll just create a new component so what is actually a component component would allow you to group few controls and use that reuse that anywhere on the screen if you are having like multiple screens four five screens then you can just create one single component for example you wish to create header and footer for your app then you can just create one header component one footer component and reuse those component over your screens so for pop up i am going to create one component and i'll just click on this and in this component i would simply wish to just keep two controls that is one image and another is text box so i'll just insert image so that i can able to view the profile image of my speaker so i can just make it a bit large and beneath that i wish to put the speaker profile so i'll just use text label and put that text label beneath that image and i'll just set the auto hide as true and why because whatever content should be there it should automatically adjust to that content height all right so we are done we we place two images uh, so whenever the pop up opens up so i have to show this image and the detailed resume of that person so that is the intent and again because to provide border and uh the the look and feel of pop up i have to insert one rectangle as well over here and i am just clicking on that rectangle and again like on this pop up window as well i'll just uh make that rectangle to be filled everywhere and now this time i'll send this rectangle to back so that my controls this image and these things should come appear up not uh beneath that it would be hidden in that case so i just send it this rectangle back and change the design to i i need to fill this with the white color so i'll just say 255 255 255 and this is pure white and if you wish to like add some opacity so you can just simply say 0.5 so this is how this pop up thing would build up now as we done with adding the controls to it but the important thing you have to select this component uh if you wish you can rename so let me rename it i'll say like a speaker profile comp so that i can identify like which component is that so and when when you select it on the left and right hand side you would see like custom properties so how to pass the data to this component from our screens so i have to create the custom properties so i'll just create new property and first thing first property i want to create is show component so let me just say that show component 
so it it's a boolean type because we are going to decide based on this property that these fields should be displayed or not so i'll just say type of data type of this is boolean and the property type is input because we are passing the values to the screen and create so this first property got created second property i wish to have this image property so i'll just say profile image and the input it will be again input type and the the control would be of image type so i'll just try to find where that image type is i am unable to find so i'll try to search yeah over here image so i can just create this one and one more property for detail resume or text so i'll just say profile text and and the property type again it would be input and the type is text so these three properties we have to create because we have to pass on the data from screen to this component and we are going to map the values to individual control using this property so i've just selected my image control and under the image i'll simply say the property name so whatever property name we have used is speaker.profile.com profile image should be set with this image in the text so i'll just uh, select text and in the text i should have again like speaker profile com dot profile text i am just setting up these properties and on the visibilities of these controls i have to set the visibility of control like uh, using the property from as show component so i'll just use again this label and we'll go to the visible property of this label i'll just say speaker profile dot show component so if i'm just passing as true then it will be displayed otherwise it will be just hidden and the visible property of image i'll again go to over here and just set that as show component again and same thing i'm going to do with uh, my this uh, rectangle because we have to hide that as well so i'll just say speaker profile com dot show component as for this rectangle property so for now like we are done we have set up the controls we map the in uh, controls uh, values with these input components now i'll just go again to my screen to pass on the values to this component and add this component to this screen so to add this component first of all i have to I'll go to insert on the screen side and expand this custom and i have to use this speaker profile component which we just created so it will add this speaker profile over here and i'll center it so that it should look nice the pop up should looks look better and i can resize it as well yeah so right now like uh, it's, it's placed over there now i need to pass on the values of selection of this arrow to this detail uh, speaker profile component so i'll just select this arrow button and on the arrow selection i'll be setting up few variables and those variables i'll be setting up with this speaker profile uh, input so first of all let set that show component as true as soon as like uh, this button is clicked we have to set the show component as true i'll create few other properties as uh, set profile image so these are variables which i am creating profile image and this profile image i am fetching from this item dot image had shot image this profile image variable has been set now next variable is profile text so i'll profile text i'll set that this variable from this item the item which we are clicking dot 
profile I think profile is the column name yes profile is the column name profile so these three variables are being set and now the next step I just keep on saving this speaker app save and in the next step we have to set these variables to my speaker profile input so I have to pass this variable so I'll just again select my this component and in this component I'll pick up these properties profile image I'll just go to profile image so in this I'll just set up that profile image uh, variable which we just created in the profile text I'll set up this variable as profile text which we created and in the show component I'll set up that variable as show component so this has been set so we have set up the input properties of our component as well we have set up the variables so on click what should happen they should happen the pop-up should open up so for, so far like we are good uh, just for test I'll just run it for once so that whatever is remaining we can take care of that so I'm just running this app clicking on this control so the light box effect has been applied but this image is still loading up again fix that piece and first of all adjust the images adjust the uh, height of these boxes and I'll just go to my screen and now I'll just uh, whatever the height which the, the border which we are showing like I need to uh, pull that up so that it can cover the entire screen the rectangle boxes I just set that as height off of my entire screen so few adjustments we have to do like after testing obviously because until unless we won't be able to see like what we are building on and this gallery I can just pull a bit inside and this rectangle I can just stretch up to the top I'll go to my component so I saw this this uh, did not took the exact white which we are looking for so I'll just change the advanced property and just give it give that as a full white to 55 five. and I'll just save my component once again and we'll just go to the screen and now we'll again test So now it's giving a full white box light box effect so I got this pop-up the, uh, the parent screen got faded out a bit to giving it a look that it's a pop-up if I just click outside of the screen then it should close also like if this this showed me the image and this profile text clicking outside it will closed and you can if you wish to like place a close button over here you can just do that into your uh, main screen or into your component anywhere you want but I just did that for I mean like when you click anywhere outside it will just close so that's how we created this light box effect into the power apps so it's very useful like whenever we used to give some contextual information within that page we can just create these simple pop-ups using this design and I also like explained you about how to create the components, how to use the components, how to pass the properties of components from parent screen to the component and utilize them. And if you find it useful, please do like and do subscribe. Thanks for today.